RV life problem, right? Our, uh, one of our slides, that one. this one right here, <laughs> will not deploy, okay? And uh, we've been in contact with multiple tech services, uh, dealerships, Grand Design, um, Lazy Days RV, like a whole bunch of people, and we're still in the process of trying to find someone who can actually uh, assist us. We've had a Before mobile December. tech mobile tech guy that is here, and it was beyond him. So he said, "You got to take it to a dealership because slide." And uh, apparently, everybody's booked out until like December. So we're trying to work through that problem and. Uh, it's becoming frustrating, so I'm going to go for a motorcycle ride. Yeah, we, do. we, sorry, we, right? Some, some two wheel therapy because it's a real thing, and uh, get my mind right, and then we will re-engage <laughs> later. So uh, we're gonna go explore the uh, the west coast of Florida here, north of Tampa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. It doesn't right. really super impede our life in a way another slide could so that's the upside yeah there is that live with it the way it is right now for a squinch yeah so it could be it, it vexes me man you know what i'm saying we'll be all right problems Tampa. We're staying in North Tampa, but we rode north along uh, 19 for a little ways, and then we turned out towards Pine Island. Is that the name of it? Pine, yes, I Pine Island. Uh, pretty good ride, man. Like super, super uh, chill, kind of like four lane highway. But then when you turned out on uh, Cortez Boulevard, I believe, it's uh, it's all country roads, like through the swamp, out through the bayou, like uh, 
out to this little island and it's really really kind of a cool little spot they have like a uh, what do you call it like a state park or something and uh, there's a beach here and playground and all that stuff for the kids there's people everywhere it's like it's pretty crowded um, they're only I think for cars they're letting like one in as one goes away so they've yeah. reached capacity for parking but uh, we're on a bike so they let us in and uh, there's only three bikes here so kind of got lucky just scooching in but walking around and uh, it's really nice I wish the snack bar was open because I could use a, uh, a milkshake or something but uh, <laughs> snack bars closed but uh, super cool ride Pine Island We rode past a local restaurant, bar, pub, hotel, gift shop, liquor store type place on our way out to uh, Pine Island. So we decided to stop in there on our way back and grab a snack and a drink along the way. The Bayport Inn is the last stop for food and drinks along the road to Pine Island or Bayport Park. It's an eclectic spot on the canal serving American traditional seafood and bar style entrees. Uh, there's seating inside and outside with a view of the water and the canals around the building. Along with the restaurant and the bar, there's also a gift store offering trinkets and souvenirs and a package store in case you need to refill your cooler or your saddlebags. We chose to sit at the bar, take in the scenery, and uh, we both really enjoyed the Gator Bites. 